hi everyone today we will see that how to uh, start the peed commands we have been already seen that which which command is used for open the two different kind of peed that is local mode and map reduce mode now i will uh, today we will see that how to interact with the peed language right so first of all that i will just close my all the terminals which i have been already open right so just close it so first of all just open your terminals and start the peed so i have been uh, i have been start my peed right now in the local mode so p hyphen x space local so p did uh, successfully start in the local mode so first of all i will create uh, one file that is name is uh, that is name is uh, employee employee dot txt right so i will just create one file that is employee.txt and inside that i will add some not a, just a minute so if the font can improve so i can do okay so i think this is my font which i am not able to increase let we see okay this is the preferences where i can edit my font right so just i will open the font with the size of okay okay so now i will uh, create one file that is one employee name that is number living uh gujarat second record that is 2 which uh, name is monica living bombay third record that i have that is nayan which live in pune fourth one that i have the name is uh myself that is double which also live in gujarat fifth one that is the name is uh, rajvi which is live in uh, also pune right and the uh, sixth one that is tushar which is live in patna right and i will also add some departmental work so this is from it in food departments it is a uh, monitor from testing department and then from uh, android application okay, this is from seo department this is from info departments it is from hr department all right and he is from marketing department right so i have six member in my employee a txt file so just i will save it and close it right okay so what i will do i want to uh, load this file into a peed and uh, want to execute the file inside the peed and want to see the output right so we have three ways that you can use to uh, uh, load this file into the local mode as well as the map reduce mode command is same see there is no difference between the local mode and map reduce uh, map reduce mode with the comparing with the commands every command you can run in the local mode as well as the map reduce mode the different means the file in the local mode which uh, located and it will generate into the local machine and in map reduce mode the all the operation will be performed on to the hdfs or hadoop cluster
right so let's i will load so that is my emp load so first of all i will create one object right so which contain uh, or we can say there is a one variables which contain the load values so there now emp load required what that which file he, uh, you need to load inside the emp load you, you can return any name over here you can use the emp load i can also return age equal to it's just i need to load the values and that value i need to give some variables that is a simple thing so i can reutilize the same thing i do not require uh, if if i will not do like this so what happens that if if i will simply return that this is the this so what happened that every time i need to write the same thing but if suppose i will occupy this statement to some variables like this so in the next time i need to just call the a so automatically asdsl like uh, the whatever i will return i will give to the a that automatically i can reuse it right so that's why here the every day, uh, here in the p everything is allocated to some specific variables so here i will use the emp underscore load is equal to so that is a command that is a load load is a commands inside the load command i will load my file where i have been created so i will check it out where i have been created so inside the root or inside the uh, home folder i have been created my emp.txt just right click on its properties so you can see this is my uh, path the root inside home inside the double i have been created emp.txt so okay so inside the root that is the home inside the home that is a double this is the path i think so so let me see it again okay double and inside that is a uh, path i think so so just check it out again okay so that is a home and inside that is a double okay inside that i have my file that is emp.txt right so this is the first statement that simple you load the file and give it to some variables okay with the semicolons okay now the file is loaded then how to execute so for that we have command that is a dump command dump now what i need to dump i dump means to execute a file now which file i need to execute i need to execute a emp.txt files so what i will do emp this file i have been already given or occupied to this variable that is emp load so what i will do right now now i will simply return that emp underscore load and semicolon and press enter now you can see you can see the all the sits variable you can see right everything it is executed now the problem is what over here that uh, you should be have some question that uh, sir uh, when you load some variable uh, load the files you are not created in variables any any in you know, variables name and anything or data types you are not created anything so how how p can understand see p are not able to understand any variables name yes but for separating the data between from the files so they need some loader so by defaults the p are able to understand the semicolon the default delimiters to separate the records from the file p are able to understand the semicolon so here i i i i, I use the semicolon so that's why i do not need read to I, I do not need to write a specific i do not say the p to specify that this is my uh, separator by which or delimiters by which you need to separate my record but yes you can write now how how you can say specified and you can say the p that Uh, this is my delimiter after the delimiters what the net next value will be that that is my next record or next values so for that okay again i will do the same operation i have been already okay now what i will need to do txt right so now i will return pid loader by separation now you need to pass the separators so i have been passed separator as a semicolon okay what 
practice the error so pid loader l o a d r so what what is the problem pid load what of it the minute just some spelling is mistake so let's we check what is the problem so wait a minute so pid and inside the pid so let's we see okay so i got it so Okay, so I need to load, but it is called the storage. Okay, the the result command is storage. So pid storage. Sorry, so just I will erase everything first. Sorry for confusions. There is so many things in my mind. That's why sometimes this kind of happen with me. Okay, so some virus error. So just close it. Okay, now I will run. So the command is pid storage. storage right so still it is so semi colon details to what should be the problem with me it should not be error it should be completely that i hope in returns using okay so emp load and the load pst and i need to save to pip that i need to separate my records by the semicolon okay so the semicolon is my operators to separate that that i that i that i used in my emp text file so that i need to return the using pip storage now i think okay okay now everything is root so again let's see then okay so what i what i is written that emp underscore load that is my variables in that i load my file emp dot text and i said by this term that is using pid storage it said that you are separate pid need to separate the records from the emp dot text where pid will find out the semicolons after the semicolons a new record is there after the semicolon every record is came after the semicolons that you say to the pid and pid are now understand that inside the emp dot text wherever he will find out the semicolons it's it's known that now a next record is started okay so now what i will do i need to load the emp underscore load okay now see what okay, i see so one after there is semicolons remember after there is a semicolon so after a semicolon you will find out the within a row this is a records right so total set row and how many records we have we have total set 24 records that we executed over here okay now the third thing that you can do with the load commands you can allocate the data types as well right so if you if you required to uh <coughs> if you required to give some data types so that you can also do that now how 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 to do that so just see how you can do this okay so just you return that as now inside emp dot text whatever row the pid will find out within a row the data or record will separated by using the pid storage delimiters operator that is a semicolons okay now within a files how many field will be there so that i need to initialize over here so first field is my emp number second one that is my e name third one that is my address or city okay so that is my city and fourth one that is a 
designation right and semicolon right so by this way you can also give the label to your records which you stored in the, into the emp.txt now what i will do dump emp underscore load right so see the record it it's it seems look same right but this is the alternative ways by which you can load your data right? but output always you will find out the same output yes you can find out the, the how you can find out that which uh, header is there for or which label i have been used so for that we have our commands that will seen in the upcoming videos as well okay now the next thing sir that, that should be a question that now i want to allocate a data types to a specific field sir so how i can do the same so that you can do by colon emp number colon that is int right so that is a number is that then emp name that is a character state the type of array we have a set of characters so that i will do there array so care array is a data types that you can use over here we will also discuss each and every data, data types in our next incoming or uh, upcoming videos okay city is also care array it is a data types and designation is also a care array so here within a files i have one uh, number field that is an integer field and remain all we have a character fields so okay that is a dump and just dump emp load okay see so this is a four different way that you can use over here so just i will uh, return over here as well so the four different ways so which for one so first way is over here that is a simple load the file without any separator or delimiters so this is my one way that uh, you can use over here right so sorry so this is uh, we have been already seen so i do not need to okay so this is so some my terminal is going to hand okay so by this way you can do it okay thank you thank you so much bye so if you like this video so please like share and subscribe it right so in the futures i will upload more and more and more very good videos which help you to become a good hadoop developers right thank you thank you very much